Hey, welcome back guys, it's Chris the Key, and today we're gonna continue to talk about pointless things in Fallout 4. This video is eerily similar to my last one, except these are three more pointless things. They won't actually help you with beating the game, and even if you never discovered these, your Fallout 4 experience would probably remain the same. Let's get started. Number one, the sacrificial stairs of Park Street Station. On your way to Vault 114 to save Nick, you'll find yourself entering the Park Street Station, an underground subway station. When walking down the stairs towards the subway tracks, you'll notice something peculiar with the very last step. Walking over it does nothing, but if you drag and drop items or bodies onto that step, they'll plummet right through the floor and then fall through the ceiling. If you line up an item just right, it gets caught in an endless loop, falling through the ceiling and floor. However, sometimes items disappear into the void and don't return. Most players speculate that this is actually a sacrificial portal where you can offer up dead enemies in hopes for a successful playthrough. Number two, the vault Tech rep is the secret supplier of brooms. You may have heard me talk about brooms in the past, specifically how they were one of the only junk items to be found in the Commonwealth while also being unavailable to purchase from vendors. But with the help of Rexia and doing some deeper digging in the game's code, it turns out that there's an exception to this. None of the vendor loot tables have brooms listed as a potential item for sale except for one. This vendor loot table is shared by Tina DeLuca from Vault 81 and the Vault Tech rep found in Good Neighbor. But Tina has a known bug that prevents her from being assigned as a merchant. So in application, the Vault Tech rep is the only person in the game who can potentially sell you a broom if you assign him as a vendor in your settlement. This means we can safely assume that he's the sole provider of all brooms in Fallout 4. Personally, I gave up trying to get a broom from him after about an hour of reloading his inventory, but I've heard from others that it is possible. Number 3. Pushing Piper off a cliff with a coffee pot. After rescuing Nick and attempting to break into Kellogg's house, you'll head up to the mayor's office in search of Kellogg's key. Here, you'll find Piper doing Piper things. You can join in on the conversation and even answer her question with a question. But did you know that instead of wasting time talking to her, you can use the coffee pot on the nearby desk to slowly push Piper off the edge of the upper floor? Upon crashing down on the concrete below, and presumably breaking her legs, she'll try to play it off by saying, I was just leaving anyway. The key. The key. The key. Weird. It's 